I'm going to show you how to do cam toolpath generation inside of Onshape directly using an app from the App Store <clears throat> called Kirimoto. So first, uh, from within your document menu, you can go to the App Store, uh, scroll down and find Kirimoto, or just type Kiri in the search bar. Uh, go in, click uh, subscribe. It's entirely free. And um, it may prompt you for your password. And if it does, give it to it. And um, once you've got that, it's going to say you're subscribed. You can go back to your documents. Um, I found this uh, free document, which I'm going to open up for the demonstration. Um, I added one thing to it, which was I split the part uh, to create two parts to show you um, a feature here that's sort of important. Once you've got your part open, you can click on the plus menu, say add application, and Kiri will open up in a tab inside of Onshape. The first time you do this, it's going to ask you to authorize the application as such. Then it's going to bring up um, a part dialog. Um, the first time they generate, uh, the preview may not have been generated. You can always bring this dialog up again on the left hand side by clicking under system import on shape part. And there are the two parts. You can import either the pieces or the entire studio as a single part. So if we go in here, open up, um, it's going to bring in the part. We can use the rotate buttons or the keyboard shortcuts to rotate that however we like. Um, look at it. <clears throat> you go into um, different types of preview modes. On the right hand side, we can choose the operations that we want to do. I'm going to turn off facing. Uh, in this case, we have roughing and three types of finishing, just to give you a quick view of what that looks like. Slice will um, actually go through and generate the different layers. You can then step through that using, in this case, a shift mouse key. Um, you can do single layer view. So that's just a real quick uh, view of what you can do. These, this can be turned into tool paths from preview using um, preview here. And that's going to show you what the actual tool paths look like. And using the same step through mechanism, you can actually go through and step down step by step. You can do that cumulatively or layer by layer. Um, and when you're ready to, you can export. And it will give you the option of downloading the G code, or in this case, uh, if you have a, a Gerbil or Tiny G um, um, CNC mill, you can use the integrated G code sender. Um, there's a separate video for how to use this, but directly inside of Onshape, uh, using Kiri, you can drive your your mill directly and um, be cutting apart in uh, in no time. Um, also, uh, you can edit the G code if you want to customize that for your environment uh, with pre and posts and, and tool chain scripts. Um, I hope that's been helpful and uh, please provide feedback and email me if, uh, if there's any help, anything else I can do. One uh, other thing is that if you go to the help menu here, it will take you to the wiki where there is other information about um, uh, how you can configure carry and um, also links to the forums where you can engage with the community and ask questions. Hope you enjoy that. Great. Thanks.